Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Jonathan Kuttner. I'm a pain specialist. And today we are discussing the understanding of trigger points and chronic muscle pain. Trigger points are really, really common cause of pain in people. So common that most people will have trigger point pain at some stage in their life and many will actually suffer long term with this pain. It can be quite severe and incapacitating and actually ruin your life. The basis of trigger point pain is this picture and what you have is a reflex arc. This is a normal muscle cell and in parallel with it there is a cell called a muscle spindle fiber. There are millions of them that are scattered throughout the body and what you're seeing here is a nerve which is created in a spiral all the way down. As the spindle stretches so it will send a message along the sensory nerve to the spinal cord and it will synapse, it will just send a message straight back in a loop to the muscle cell. So this is a really quick simple reflex arc and there are millions of these scattered throughout your body and they are necessary for all the amazingly complex things that you do like sitting, standing, walking. These are all unconscious, you don't actually think now I must do this, but all this stuff is happening automatically in your body. Now the problem is that when this little arc starts malfunctioning, then it sets up a trigger point. What happens is the spindle starts firing unnecessarily and the muscle goes into spasm, but it's a small area of spasm. So this is what you're looking at. Now you've got that same muscle and inside the muscle is a trigger point complex and the trigger point complex pulls a taut band within the muscle which you can feel as a almost like a guitar string within your muscle. If you look even more closely what you can see here are normal muscle fibers. This is a photomicrograph. These are striations and you can see them, little stripes. That's normal. Over here see this band here, this is a little trigger point complex and what's happened is that everything has contracted in so you can hardly see those little striations and over here they've been stretched and these are actually very tiny, that's called a contraction knot here it is, there it is, there it is and they all come together to form this trigger point complex and the trigger is called a trigger because it acts like the trigger of a gun. So when you pull the trigger of a gun, bang, something happens in the distance. And so what happens is the trigger point sets off a pain pattern which is specific to each trigger point. And there's this whole system throughout the body. So what I want us to do is to explore our own body. And this is the trapezius muscle. You can see it running across your shoulder and it's a big strap-like muscle which acts like a coat hanger. So what you need to do now, you can see that muscle, is take your hand and here's your hand and pinch the free end of the muscle. And as you pinch the free end of your muscle you will reach a point here where you feel pain. And you think, oh that's sore pinch hard enough to cause pain and as you pinch you'll feel pain in the muscle but you will also feel pain somewhere else. Not everybody but most people will. So pinch firmly and you'll feel pain moving. It, it usually goes upwards and this is a this is the pattern that you see. So from the primary trigger point usually the pain will go up it will end up in the base of your skull, may affect, seem to affect the back of your ear, 
may run right across the side of your head and end up here and in there. The pain is usually dull, aching and can be vaguely nauseating. This is another example. These are gluteal trigger points and this is a particular deep gluteus muscle in your butt where, and if you press you have to press very deeply but you can set off this pain which looks like sciatica but in fact is not. This is the pain arising from these trigger points. Now of course this is just two examples and there are examples all over your body such that trigger points may cause pain in your face, in your head, in your neck, in your back, in your abdomen, in your chest, in your butt and down your legs. In other words anywhere in your body you may have pain arising from trigger points. So in summary trigger points are the basis of chronic muscle pain. They occur very commonly, you remember, it will affect almost everybody at some stage of their life. It's caused by a muscle reflex which misfires and it can be treated successfully. We'll talk about that at another occasion. Thank you.